Konnichiwa, hello, my name is Mickey, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my empties. I have so many empties here, anywhere from makeup to body care, mostly body care and skincare, but I just have a lot of stuff that I went through. Now, if you guys are new here or enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when I post my videos. And per usual, my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is not the place for you. I am a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of this mouth so keep that in mind while you're watching so if you guys are interested in my empties and the products that I've used up then just stay tuned do you guys see like how much more yellow I've gotten I'm actually wearing a foundation that was exactly like one of my true match foundations and it is just so much more neutral than my skin tone now and so now I'm gonna have to start you buying like foundations and concealers that have a yellow undertone to them or like a warm undertone and I'm just so not used to that so yeah my face might be a little different from my neck because your girl is struggling here with her undertone so the first item I have is the Milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer this is actually one of my all-time favorite concealers I just love this concealer so much if you're someone who has dry skin I totally recommend this concealer because this is one of the concealers that I found that doesn't actually cling to any of my dryness under my eyes it also feels very very hydrating unlike some concealers where you know you can feel it kind of dry down a little bit and suck the moisture out of your under eyes this does not do that now this has about medium coverage you do have to kind of build it up if you want higher coverage also it blends beautifully with most foundations that I've tried it sets beautifully and I just love this concealer the next couple of items I have here are all mascaras I go through mascara pretty quickly because even on my light makeup days mascara is something I never leave the house with now I don't know if you guys know this but you shouldn't be using mascara for longer than I believe six months there's actually a little container sign on all types of products that you use and you put on your face all types of makeup products and basically that little container sign with a number inside of it means how many months that it'll last after that you should just throw it away because at that point it's expired the first mascara I have here is the milk kush mascara this this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras I love this because it's one of the mascaras that I found that actually lengthen my lashes and they don't look super clumpy they don't uh, budge they don't smudge it doesn't crumble all over your face by the end of the day and it has just a really great formula there's little teeny tiny fibers in this which actually help your lashes look much longer and the only thing that I don't really like about this is that it kind of dries out quickly and for a more higher-end mascara when I say higher-end I mean something that's $20 and more um, I don't don't really like that aspect of it because if I'm paying I believe this is 20 I don't even know how much this is I'll have to check but for something this expensive for a mascara for it to be drying out before I'm actually done using it that just kind of like hurts the soul a little bit you know because I'm using my money to buy like a really great product so the second mascara I'm gonna get into is the covergirl exhibitionist mascara this is just oh, okay so if you guys are looking for a dupe for the Too Faced better than sex it is right here now I know a lot of people like the L'Oreal lash paradise but because they're not cruelty free I don't use them and covergirl is uh thankfully cruelty free and I feel like this is the exact dupe for the Too Faced better than sex I've noticed that whenever I open up a mascara and it has that hourglass spoolie inside I usually enjoy it I know it doesn't really have much to do with the brush but I do feel like the hourglass shaped mascaras just apply so much better and they look much better and they work a lot better than a lot of the mascaras out there so my final mascara that I have is the NYX worth the hype mascara I actually got this in the waterproof version I have the non waterproof version that I bought maybe like two weeks ago they are kind of the same to me like I don't feel one works better than the other I do feel like the waterproof one does stay on longer because I mean it is freaking waterproof but I really love this mascara I think I actually prefer the waterproof to the non waterproof this also has a regular spoolie brush which I just again I love it the shape of this spoolie though kind of goes up kind of like a tree and it fans out a little bit but I really really love this because it has staying proof it's very very black so another thing I want to mention about all these mascaras is none of them are like super goopy and wet to where you have to like wait for it to dry down for someone with hooded eyes I have to wait for my mascara to dry down because if I open my eyes forget it I'm gonna have like dots all over the hoods of 
my eyes because the mascara wasn't dry. Now the last makeup products that I have are brow pencils. I know I made it sound like I had a lot of makeup products, but I, I guess I really don't. <laughs> um, I have three brow pencils here. I'm going to start with uh, the more pricier ones. So the first one I have is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I am not a fan of this, okay, at all. I will never buy this again because it does one of my least favorite things for a brow product, which is it balling up whenever I blend it out with the spoolie. Your girl does not like anything that balls up on the brows because it's not really cute. I just really don't like anything that does that. And the brow is for me does it all the time without fail. I, I've i tried it so many times. This is probably like my third one. And I kept thinking and like making excuses for it, thinking like, oh no, it's just a bad batch. Maybe it's a little dry. It does not matter. The ABH Brow Wiz is just not for me. I will never purchase it again because I feel like it's a waste of money when there are so many better drugstore products out there for brows like I, I just can't with that the next one I have is the European Wax Center Brow Fection Brow Liner and Shaper this is probably the only brow pencil that I'm willing to spend over 20 bucks on this is so freaking amazing now this is not called brow fection for no fucking reason okay this has the most amazing staying power that I've ever like encountered in a brow product when you put it on it's very easy to draw a line it's very easy to fill in sparse areas it's also very very pigmented it's really easy to control as well with the pressure um, if you put a lot more pressure of course it's gonna be more pigmented if you do light uh, strokes you can do even hair strokes because it's that freaking thin once it dries down that's it it's not going to budge it's not gonna smudge it's not gonna wear out throughout the day your brows are gonna look just as fucking bomb as they did when you use this in the beginning to wherever you are by the end of the night. I just love this brow pencil so, so much. And I appreciate my best friend turning me on to this because this stuff is so amazing. I actually need to get another one. The next brow product that I have is so amazing. I love it. It's probably one of my all-time favorites. This is the Balm Ferocious Brow Pencil. This guy is just, oh, I, I, I can't say enough about it. Everything that I love about the Brow Fection is also in the Ferocious. This is very easy to apply. It's very, very fucking thin. So if you want those hair strokes, you can get that with this. This is also very, very pigmented. And so any areas that are sparse that you need a little bit more pigment, this will fill it up. I just love the ease of application for this product. And it definitely costs less than the other two brow products that I just showed you. But this is definitely something that if you have not tried, you need to go try this out because it is just such an amazing brow pencil. So first I'm going to just go in with some body products. This is something that I have tried over and over again. I've tried every scent. I've tried every like thing that you can find in this brand. This is the Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash. I cannot say enough about these body washes. These have kept me so moisturized throughout the winter. I've tried different body washes and I always keep coming back to this because this is my baby. This is my tried and true body wash. I will never stray away from this body wash ever again. Not only is their body wash my favorite, but so is their body scrub. If you are looking for a really, really nice body scrub that's going to leave you nice and exfoliated, exfoliated and very smooth and moisturized, you want to check the raw sugar out. I love this brand so much and I will never ever use another body wash. Also, any product you buy from raw sugar, they donate a bar of soap to a family in need, which I think is pretty amazing as well. The next product I have is the TheraBreath Healthy Gums Oral Rinse. Now, I actually talked mad shit about this when I first tried it out because I was like, eh, it doesn't really do that much. It's really not that great. It tastes weird. Now, I've come to realize and learn that most natural mouthwashes and toothpaste are not the same as regular mouthwash and toothpaste. I did not like the taste of this at all and I thought that it didn't really do anything because it didn't leave my mouth feeling like burning sensation like Listerine used to do and I have grown to actually love that like love the fact that it doesn't burn the inside of my mouth like most uh, mouthwashes do. The only reason why I'm willing to spend seven dollars on a mouthwash is because this formula, this is the Healthy Gums formula, they also have a fresh breath formula, but the Healthy Gums one has helped my gums stop bleeding. Ever since I've used this or started using this, my gums do not bleed anymore. I have very sensitive gums but very strong teeth, which is really weird. Like I've never had a cavity in my life, knock on wood, um, but this stuff has really helped 
my gum sensitivity, my gum bleeding. Another thing I've noticed is whenever I have like a canker sore or an inner mouth sore, I don't know what they're called. I call them cold sores, but apparently cold sores are the ones you get on the outside of your mouth. Anyways, whenever I get sores inside my mouth and I use this, they're gone in a couple of days. When normally I'm left with a sore for like a week or two and it's really painful to eat or drink anything that's like, uh, you know, carbonated or sweet. And this has really, you guys, this is seriously changed like my mouth's life. It's changed my life, honestly, because anytime that I would brush my teeth, I'm not a very like strong or hard brusher. I don't brush my teeth very hard. And anytime it didn't matter if I flossed or brushed, my teeth would bleed. And this has completely stopped that. So if you have bleeding gums or sensitive gums, or you're prone to like canker sores or mouth sores, try this guy out because I'm going to tell you right now, it is totally worth it. The next product I have is by Hask and this is the Greek yogurt repairing shampoo. Every single thing I've tried from the Hask either makes my hair super oily or super fucking dry. This is one of the guys that made my hair super fucking dry. Now, when I say dry, I mean to the point where my hair felt like fucking straw. I was like, what is this? Like feeling my hair and I was like, oh my God, something happened. Is this damaged? No, it was just this freaking shampoo. I don't know why I didn't return it. Maybe I got lazy or maybe I forgot about it, but I'm not one to waste products. I use this up completely. It's totally empty and it was a fucking chore to get myself to use this just so I wouldn't waste it because my husband didn't like it either. I didn't like it and I was like, I don't know what else to do and I just, ended up using the whole thing but this stuff dries the shit out of my hair it makes it so frizzy and poofy and voluminous everything that I hate about my hair it made 10 times worse and so I will just never ever buy any more Hass products because even with their dry shampoo it made my hair so freaking oily the Hass products are just not for me but I will say they smell so freaking good. Next product I have is another Hask product that I just, oh, it took so long for me to get over. I actually had this shampoo and then the conditioner. I bought a different Hask product for the conditioner. This is the Keratin Protein Smoothing Conditioner. I get anything that says smoothing or conditioning or moisturizing, repairing, all that stuff because ever since I dyed my hair purple, my hair has just been paying for it. And so I've been buying anything that's gonna nourish my hair. And this conditioner, I'm not gonna say it's like really bad, but it's not really great either. It didn't do much for my hair, which is why I just won't buy the Hask products because I just don't feel like they really do anything. If they do something, they always make my problems worse. And so I just, uh, I'm, don't think I'm ever gonna get the Hask products again. The next product I have here is the Alba Botanica Even Advanced Cleansing Gel. This is something that I actually bought for my husband and he loved it. This has been empty for months now. I've just been keeping it aside uh, to collect with all my other empties. I used it myself and I love it because it's one of those products that will help with your acne, but it doesn't leave your face feeling super dry and like cracky after you get out of the shower. There are face washes out there that are made for acne that will literally strip all the moisture from your skin and once you get out of the shower and your uh, face kind of air dries within like the first couple minutes you get out you can feel your face kind of like be really um stiff and anytime you try to like move any of your face muscles you can feel your skin like be really dry and really tight this does not do that surprisingly i also really love the smell because it's very fresh it's very natural and i just i love this stuff especially for double cleansing because i am a double cleanser so i actually tried this after i took my makeup off and i had a little bit of residual makeup around like the corners of my nose from my like foundation a little bit of mascara under my eyes and this took all of that off. So this is definitely something that I would recommend and something that I would repurchase. The next product I have is the Bliss Makeup Melt Oil-Free Makeup Remover Wipes. Now these makeup wipes I am completely in love with. These are the only makeup wipes that I will buy as opposed to Ula Henriksen except those are a little pricey for me for makeup wipes and for the amount that comes in the package. The Ula Henriksen wipes in these ones are the only two only two facial wipes that I have encountered that do not burn the shit out of my skin. I don't know what it is because I do not have sensitive skin at all. I mentioned that I always have golem skin, like nothing penetrates through this tough skin of mine. Maybe they contain more alcohol than these, but this makeup product right here, it's not only something that doesn't burn the shit out of my skin, but it actually takes off 
every single thing I have on my face. Waterproof mascara, forget it. It's going to take it off. I love these makeup wipes. Now, I'm not someone who's really into makeup wipes because they're not good for the environment. They're not good for the planet. And um, they're just kind of wasteful to me. And so I don't really purchase them often. These are more for those days where I'm like really fucking tired. I've been filming or I've been out all day and I just really need to take my makeup off when I get home. This is what I use. And then later on at night, I will actually double cleanse my skin with the oil and uh, a regular face wash. They're very saturated. So you're not going to struggle to find like a nice saturated spot. You know, those wipes that sometimes when you take out and you're just like, really, is this supposed to take my makeup off? Now, when makeup wipes are not saturated enough, you can really cause damage to your skin by rubbing so much because you're like trying to get the makeup off. So you want something that's very, very saturated and not a lot of alcohol and something that's not going to burn the shit out of your skin. And this is my go to right here. Also, it's drugstore, so it's more affordable than the Ula Henriksen wipes. I actually have one more pack of these, but I think that after I'm done with that pack, I will no longer be using makeup wipes. I'm kind of trying to lessen my carbon footprint and this is so wasteful for the planet. So I think that I'm just going to stick to uh, reusable makeup wipes. You guys, look who came and jumped in my lap just now. Hi, Corbin. He really does not like the camera. He's just like, mm, no, he's always such a sleepy boy. Yes, you are. You're always such a sleepy boy. He's so hating me right now. I don't know why he jumped up here if you don't like me. I don't know why you do that. <sighs> oh, my God. If you guys have cats, you know. All right, next product I have. I actually got this in the FabFitFun box. I only got one uh, because my friend sent me, like, a referral code, and I was able to get it for, like, 25 bucks or something. I believe they're, like, $39.99. FabFitFun box, totally not worth it for me. Um, maybe it was just the box that I got that I wasn't really thrilled with everything that I got in there. There are a few things that I did like, but most of them I just was like, I'm paying 50 bucks every season for this. Like, it's just not worth it to me. The only way I would deem the FabFitFun box uh, worthy of my money is if it actually included items that I would want or that I was looking for. Now, this is the Cosmetics Pure C Vitamin C Mixing Crystals. This is actually a powder form of vitamin C. Um, I believe it's ascorbic acid. Yeah, the only thing in here is ascorbic acid. Now, I do like vitamin C products and I do like ascorbic acid, but this guy just really didn't do anything for my skin. Now, this is a powder product that you can mix with your moisturizer or any type of serums um, because it's literally just straight powder in a little uh, plastic tub or thing. I don't know. You can like twist it and get the powder out. I am someone who avidly uses vitamin C in my skincare. There's not a day that I go without vitamin C. And so I think my skin is just uh, a little bit used to vitamin C. So it needs more of a stronger percentage. And this is a straight ascorbic acid, which is a form of vitamin C, but it's not like the most potent form. And so I'm just really not into like these powder mixers. And so I would not recommend this. The next product I have is the Bliss Glow and Hydrate Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This this is my bitch. <laughs> like this is the most amazing day serum I have ever used on my skin. If you have acne, if you have dark spots, if you have any bumps or lumps, any kind of uh, scarring or dark pigments, you want this guy. If you are dry, you want this guy. This hydrates your skin. It helps brighten your skin. It also helps with the inflammation of your acne. I actually still have a lot of acne going on right now, but it's also because I wasn't using this for a while. I was trying something different, and I also think that's why my face started breaking out recently. But I went back to using this, and my acne has just subsided. It's not as inflamed. It's not as red. It's not as bumpy and raised. It also just sinks into your skin so nicely. Like, you know, there's some serums that kind of just sit on top of your skin this does not do that at all and it has such a nice clean scent to it I just cannot get over some of the bliss products that I've been trying I believe this is close to 20 something dollars so it is a little bit more on the pricier end for a drugstore brand but you guys this is so worth the money like I I cannot stress enough how amazing this product is not only does it include hyaluronic acid which is great for dry skin but the niacinamide is what gives you that glow it helps with your acne it helps with your dark spots so please if you are anywhere near target get you this guy because i tell you right now it will not let you down all right so the last skincare product that i'm going to talk about is something that you just need to get online after this video and go buy right fucking now because it is that fucking 
good. This is the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch Micro Point for Blemishes. Now, before I get into this, a little bit of a backstory. I have had acne since I was 14 years old. I have now had acne longer than I haven't had acne, and I am so sick and fucking tired of it. For me to say that, it's really, really sad. The fact that I'm a full grown adult and I'm still dealing with this shit is really annoying. And also, because I have been bullied for my acne, I've been called pizza face, crater face, a uh, volcanic rock, like uh, all kinds of different shit. It's really, really hurtful. It really sucks. I've gotten over it, of course, but it's just something that will always stay with me because acne has just put a huge huge damper on my life period. Now the only thing that has actually helped get rid of my acne or even uh kind of make a pimple smaller or less inflamed is Accutane or prescription grade retinol. I believe my retinol is like 1% or something like that. And so unless I use those, nothing will eradicate these acnes on my face. Nothing will make them smaller or less inflamed or come up to the surface faster than this guy. Before I tried these, I was a huge skeptic. I was like, there is no fucking way some patch on my face is going to make my acne more small or go away or less inflamed or any of that until I met Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch. Now Hero Cosmetics actually sent me the regular Hero patches. Um, they have two kinds, I believe. They have the regular one, which is uh, kind of tinted, and then they have a invisible patch, which has a little bit of the uh, tint. Now when I say the tint, I think it's where they have the medicine or like the ingredient, the main ingredient that actually takes care of your acne. The invisible ones have a little bit of a tint to them, but the tint is smaller. It's a smaller circle that you put on top of your acne, and it's almost invisible. It's almost like you can't see it. So after after trying their regular patches, they came out with the micro point, which is the patch that has little teeny tiny spikes on it. I know it's kind of intimidating when you first look at it because you're probably thinking like, oh my God, I don't want to put that on my skin. That's going to, you know, puncture my skin or I'm going to feel it. it's going to hurt. These actually do not hurt at all. I find them very, very satisfying actually when I put them on because I can actually feel the micro points going into my skin. I don't know if you guys have ever used a derma roller before, but the 0.25 milliliter derma rollers are exactly what these micro point uh, patches feel like. So there's no pain at all whatsoever, but the satisfaction comes from whenever I push the actual patch into my skin, I can feel the little micro points penetrating my skin. It's just really, really strange. The next day, whenever I take this off, my acne or that said pimple has either raised completely to where I can now extract it because it has a white head or it has shrunk 10 times its size. You know those ones that you get really underneath the skin? That's what the Mighty Patch Micro Point ones are for, are the ones that you have really deep under your skin, but you can still feel it. There's still pressure and pain when you push on it, but there's no way you're gonna be able to extract it because there's no white head there. This is when you put the needle patch on. Then after it comes to the surface and you have a white head, you extract it, you get all the gunk out, that's when you put on their regular patches. And then the next day after that, it's almost completely gone. And so I am a firm believer. I have not tried any other acne patches, but I am a firm believer in the Hero Cosmetics one. This is just amazing to me. I actually got these when they were having like a dollar shipping or something, but I believe it retails for $12. You get six patches in it. Now I know you guys are probably thinking like, what, are you kidding me? It's $2 a patch. I'm gonna tell you right now, girl, those $2 a patch is totally fucking worth it. I have heard other YouTubers talk about a brand called Zitstika, which I actually looked into because I was curious about these little pimple patches that I saw popping up everywhere online. So when I researched Zitstika, it was like $28 a box and it only came with like four or six patches. I'm sorry, but I cannot justify, that would be like me buying this box right here for $24, which I can absolutely not justify because I am a cheap bitch. But $12 for six patches on the other hand, I'm like, hmm, that's like half price and either it works or it doesn't, but at least I'm not spending $28 on it, you know? So after I tried their regular Mighty Patches, I saw this, I purchased it and I was like, their other Mighty Patches work, so what's the harm in trying this? These are seriously one of the best acne products. I can't say acne patches because these are the only brands that I've tried, but this is the best acne product that I have found for the use. And by that, I mean for a little patch to put on top of your acne, it actually works really fast. Now with these, you're supposed to leave on for at least six hours for it to do their thing. I actually like to put them on right before I go to bed. I take a little Q-tip, I dab it with some uh, glycolic acid toner, and I kind of clean up the area a little bit because a lot of times before I go to bed, I put oil on my face. And so you don't want any oil or anything like that on your face. You want a clean, dry spot before you put the patch on or else 
else it's not going to stick and so I just take a little q-tip with some uh, toner on it clean that little pimple and I smack that little micro point patch on and let me tell you the next day it's either shrunk in size or it has completely migrated to the top of your skin where it is now extractable and has become a whitehead and then after that is when you put on the regular patches and within three or four days that acne has gone away and I have never ever said that about a product except for prescription uh, level types of products if you have not tried a pimple patch before try the hero cosmetics mighty patches because i i cannot say enough you guys they are amazing all right so that is all the empty products that i have for you guys for now i'm actually working on a couple more products that are soon to be empty but i like to kind of gather the empty ones first before i go and put a video because i don't want to do a video when i only have a couple empty products you know so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe also also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when I post my videos. And as always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply want to talk shit, leave it all in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.